my life is pretty hectic. <clears throat> so I was up at 1.30 this morning and I couldn't go back to sleep. I have a lot of things going on. So I'm the type of person where I have, a, I have a hard time calming myself if I'm thinking about a lot of things. It's hard for me to bring my, myself down from that. Um, so I get up really early. I'm up probably about 4 a.m. every single day. That's when my day starts. First thing I do is I make coffee um, and then I head over to my computer and I look at my online bank and I check my spending and I track my spending. I do my personal budget stuff first. Usually it takes me about 15 minutes. Um, and then I'm answering email and Instagram messages for about two hours. That's, I spent about a good two hours of my morning, you know, answering my readers and making sure I'm there showing up for them and being there for them. And then I come here to the new distribution center and headquarters for the Budget Mom where I finally have an office outside of my kitchen. I look at my office and all the stuff in here. I'm like, I can't believe I like actually put all this stuff in my apartment. How did this all fit in there? <laughs> um, and I come here and I work with Ryan and we, you know, we have a lot of meetings. We talk a lot about the future of the Budget Mom, different projects. We work on articles and the whole shebang. Um, now I'm doing YouTube video or uh, yeah, YouTube video. So it can change. It, um, it, my calendar fills up fast and we do, a, it's crazy. Every single day in the life of Miko is different. So I'm a movie junkie. I like to watch all movies. Uh, scratch that. I am not so much of a horror film uh, buff, but any other type of movie I'm all about. I'm also a Netflix junkie and baking show junkie. So I'm all about the Great British Baking Show, Zumbo's Just Desserts. You know you watched season two of Zumbo's Just Desserts. It was amazing. And if you haven't, you definitely should. Um, so I, I, look, I'm an introvert. And I know it's a hard for a lot of people to see that when they're seeing me here on social and you know I'm out doing all these public speaking and media things. I'm at my happiest though, wrapped up in a blanket with my son and my cat binge watching Netflix with a box of popcorn and some hot tea, like period. But I also, I really like to draw. Um, it's, you know, I love being creative and designing new things. I love to ride my Harley Davidson motorcycle. Uh, it's something that I've been doing since 2011. You know, I grew up on the back of my dad's Harley. I started riding on the back of his Harley when I was five. So that's a big part of my life, but I'm also active. I love being outdoors. I love hiking. Um, I love paddle boarding. I like just being outdoors. Um, so yeah. Oh man, dinner and a movie. Let's eat some food and be lazy. <laughs> um, that, I mean, Christopher Farah and I differ a little bit in our activities. So he is very active. He's competitive at heart. So he likes going out and playing sports. You know, he'll ask me to come and play basketball with him at the gym. That's his idea of like a date night. Whereas I'm more like chill. I want to sit and be lazy and eat some good food. Uh, we find middle ground though. We like to go bowling. I love that Christopher is also very active. It's actually how we met. Uh, he was my personal trainer when I was just starting my journey of long distance running. Um, so we both to go to, like to go outside and do hiking and swimming and camping and all of that stuff as well. Oh, I don't know, because here's the thing, okay. I have been dreaming about getting a dog for so long and for the longest time I envisioned me getting a puppy. But a puppy is much like a baby. You have to be ready to be up late nights, like them pooping and peeing all over the place. Like, I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for this task. Uh, so we are going to adopt. I'm a, you know, my heart is with Spokane Humane Society and I'm hoping to find an animal there. We also have a really close family friend that does animal rescue uh, on the side. I'm thinking now we're probably gonna get a dog that's a little bit older, that's already somewhat potty trained but not old enough to where I still can't train him as my own. Um, who knows what kind of dog, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't really get the whole breed thing. I don't really care what kind of dog I get as long as they have a kind heart and they're not like out biting people or anything like that. Um, I think all animals, all breeds deserve a chance. So who knows, we'll see. The biggest change um, moving from my kitchen to the new TBM headquarters was my mindset did a shift again. 
So when I left my full-time job, I had to teach myself to be an at-home worker. Um, I had to learn to get over the distractions. I had to give myself a schedule. It was really hard for me to stay on task because I'd be working on something over in my kitchen. I'm like, ooh, I can wash dishes right now and I can take care of the laundry. And before you know it, the day was over and I didn't get anything done for work. When we moved into the TBM warehouse, I all of a sudden had that mindset shift of like I was going back to my full-time job. I find myself being a lot more uh, dedicated here. I wouldn't say dedicated, but more focused. I'm focused on the tasks that I'm doing. I'm not getting distracted as easily. I don't have Kitty here who I'm like in love with and she distracts me and she's meowing and jumping all over the place. So here I feel like I'm a little more focused and it's really, it's actually, to be honest, it's really nice to, to have more of that eight to five schedule again. I feel like I can leave the work here and go home and and kind of just relax and take my mind off things.